Well, hello, YouTubers, and specifically Jake. Since you're the only one who watches it. <laughs> we are back after how many weeks has it been since we did our last episode? I don't know, like maybe a week and a half or something. Oh, so we haven't been gone that long. No. Do you remember what's happened in the story? We got the diamond, and we're supposed to bring it to another town. We're in the forest. And we met the man. We met that forest man who scared off all those poison zombies. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's start. Let's see. The weird woods. Load, yes. <laughs> I just uh, saw the restart. I, saw, I, don't, I, don't, I don't, know. don't know why that restarts right there. I'm not sure. Tell me it has no one else to use your TV because it flickers. Yeah, it has to warm up again. I really, this is actually brownie. Whoa. I forgot they did that. I know. Which is nice. We got an herb. I'm so glad this game's multiplayer. I'm pretty sure we're not desperate for a. Now we're a bridge. We're looking for a. Is it that time? I actually see walking and seeing us. I'm gonna go find some stuff. I don't know if there's any secrets in that. Okay, I'll find it. This is a really, really good game. Let's see what this is. So it was the farthest journey. Sounds scary. Oh. Should I do this? Uh, I guess sure. We just started, so I guess this would be the best time to find out if we actually want to. Nothing with it? Sure. They're good in this game, aren't they? That's fine. Cool. 400 silver. That'll be useful for our new town we go visit. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> this is nice, happy music. Ooh, look. This trap is baited with a banana, and it's not a very ripe one either. No wonder it's empty. There's a bluebird and chickens. Hey, we made it to the cabin. I bet this poor chicken there's some food or food for someone. Look at all the mushrooms or something in the house. Mm -hmm. I think those are just uh, vines, aren't they? I like Japanese music. This is definitely this is like happy Persona 3 dance in the oh, no music. Ack, what are you guys <laughs> doing in my house uninvited? If it's safe you seek, look to the south. Now get out! Maybe. Well, maybe she's purposeful in the future. Because she's not now. Go downstairs right there. Oh, you're so smart. I didn't see that. Let's take her cat. Yeah. What's that smell? It looks like a frog's in there. <laughs> That's the cat. The cat. <laughs> I know. I think they're talking about the pot. <laughs> I don't feel so good. Check the bookshelf. There are so many small animals around here, Alex. Someone has major doo doo duties, I bet. Doo doo duty. I have a lot of doo doo duty at my job. It's locked. It's so locked inside. I don't like Thanks it when things are locked. I know. Healing Herbs Illustrated. Magician's Desk Reference. Tongue of Frog. It's not just for breakfast anymore. Cats. The other white meat. I think that's enough for you for one day, don't you? Huh. <coughs> this lady's a witch. Yeah, that's her cauldron. Ew, right there, that, see? Yeah. That mixed up closet. It's gross, Aaron. <laughs> There's a bluebird. It's a pretty bluebird. This is, this is really happy music for a witch's house. It's super happy. It should be like this. <laughs> music. Yeah. Hey, run away, B. Get it? No, <laughs> I might have to start over. We waste 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure this is a nice place. Look at it. It's nice. Yeah. We've got a church. That's gotta be a nice place. It has a church. The story is getting old. Oh. There you go. It's green. 
Good job. Game to unlock chest, and that way you have lots of backtracking so you get more game time. Yes! We're healed. Shall we That's save? Nice. Cool. You do you first, please. That small bow, which will increase your attack by two. For archers on a budget. What else is there? There is. Uh. A new leather shirt. clothing. Kinky yet comfy. What? That's what it says. What's the next one? Leather armor, reinforced rawhide. I have to wear something that says kinky yet comfy. I think that was just was I think that was just a working design. I think so too because that be robe does not look kinky. It just no. looks like a robe. I think it's because it's called leather. They uh, were trying to be funny, so we'll get you this bow. Equip it. Yeah. And then we'll get you this. We got plenty of money. Mm -hmm. this we got plenty kinky of leather. Ooh, that's sword. nice. Oh, 49 to 54. I go up by 5. That's a lot. This long sword does length does matter. Goodness. <laughs> that's another one. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of store is this? That's what you can That's the only thing you can get. I can read the symbol of heroism. I don't think nice. we should have bought anything. I don't think we should have either. Well, I didn't realize that until just now. Alright, well, just use it and not my MP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It'll I be agree. nice. I agree. Howdy, children. My name is Brett. I reckon I'm the best that there is when it comes to gambling. I don't much care if I'm playing a man, woman, or child, as long as they have money, I'll take it. Why haven't any ships left from Arabia today? I don't want to wait here a second longer. I'm with you, madam. I can't wait to get out of this awful town. I didn't mean to yell, but I'm just upset because I had a fight with my lousy, no good, deadbeat husband. Oh dear. Do you ever feel that way about me? Never. Oh, the sheep to Moribia hasn't yet sailed. What's going on? I have to return there to close a big business deal, and if I miss it, I lose big bucks. Feel your pain, sir. Time is money. Ahoy, mates. I'm the captain of the Hispaniola, fairbound for Moribia. The sea is tossing so hard that I need me sea chart to navigate it, but I seem to have gambled it away. Ah, that scurvy dog. He won't be so lucky next time. I'll have a rematch on his head, I tell ye. What's a sea chart? Some kind of really yummy fish? No, oh, silly. So. It's a map of the ocean sailors used to avoid hazards. Good job. Is that a stairway? Yeah, but you can't go down it because mm. he's blocking it. Good job. The captain was fooled into losing <coughs> a sea chart in a card game with an infamous gambler, Brett. The captain is a fine seller, but the worst poker player in history. Man's eyes twinkle with delight every time he gets two cards with the pictures, with pretty pictures on. Now I have a port full of angry passengers, drunken sailors, and rotting cargo. Lovely. Brett, he's gloating at the bar. We have to go back to Brett and challenge him. I'm just moving around. I'm not doing it on purpose. Oh, we're going to want the picture of beer on it. And in the back corner is Brett. Pardon, you want the sea chart? Hmm. Gamble with me, and I reckon we can talk about it. I reckon we will. Alright then, let's play for 100 silver. Well, I'll start with real easy games, son. I'll toss the coin. You guess heads or tails, call it. Call it. Call it. Just like, we'll cut your phone, man. What shall we do? Heads, of course, it's always heads. 
I always pick tails when I do it. Sorry, Sonic's tails. Uh huh. Uh huh. The sun is silver. How about another sun? What are you choosing? Might be heads now. Okay. Dag, now your luck, son, is tails. I win again. Did you look at the coin he's using? I mean, really, look at it. What do you mean, Remus? The coin he flips isn't the same as the coin he showed us. We're just switching after the toss. What? Are you sure we should accuse the best gambler in the town of cheating? Yeah. Come on, Noel. If anyone knows anything about money, it's me. Let's do it one more time. It'll be fun, I promise. Alright, do it. I was lost, sorry. You kids are back. Come on now. I don't want to win no more of your allowance. It just ain't right. We want to make things more interesting, Brad. We want to bet this. Oh. Ramus, you better be sure about what you're doing. We didn't come all the way to say to lose the diamond on a coin flip. Holy goddess, Althena. I recognize that's the purest rock I've ever seen. You got yourselves a bet, son. Ha! There, see? So, Ramus's plan was to beat Brett. Sheer genius. Beat up Brett. Put that coin down, boy. Why, Brett? So I don't notice it was two. So I didn't notice it was. It has two heads. <laughs> uh. Why, Brett? <laughs> <laughs> Why, Brett? Brett, you're nothing but a lying, cheating weasel. I heard the coin was fake when I heard it hit. I knew the coin was fake when I heard it hit the table. A real coin makes a deeper clink. Oh dear, I've been caught by a chill by a child. If news of this were to travel, I'd be <coughs> ruined, you naughty beastly boy. I got Dragon Knight, we never lost it. So never we got money back though. I see your accent was as fraudulent as your coin. Don't you know that you can't con a con? Game over, Brett. Give us the C chart. I'm afraid I don't have it, please. Don't shut me again. I bruise quite easily. I'm a bleeder. What? You said we had to gamble for it. I said you had to gamble, but I never said I had the chart. You ninny ninny dum dum poopy head. Well us. Well well said, and all. I trade the sea chart to an old woman in the forest northwest of Saith. She gave me this. We got fortune cane. That's what that is, it's that witch up there. Take it with you. Perhaps the woman will trade it again for this cane or something else. Alright then. Why did you... Why did you give us the cane? Well, I was hoping you brats, I mean, darling children, would keep our little secret. You want the sea chart? Pay a visit okay. to the woman in the northwest forest. She might trade with you. Okay. That's where we gotta go. What yeah. we'll say. Back. Well, at least we won't have to battle anything. Or we might have to battle something. I think it comes back. You wanna say first? Yeah, if nothing will hurt. Done. Let's talk to this old lady. Hey, I don't know, did you get enough material to work with though? Because we kinda like didn't do it a lot. Oh, it could be a short one. It could be a short one. Let's keep her out there. We made it. <laughs> they did that on purpose. What? Like the game made you go to that. Huh. Sounds like it came from further up the trail. <coughs> huh. Hello, who is in there? Uh, what exactly are you doing? <coughs> what does it look like I'm doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I ordered you to release me from this contraption immediately. 
Sounds pretty rude, Alex. What are you going to do? I say we leave him here. He isn't hurt, and I'm sure he'll get out of this thing eventually. Well, I'm tempted to agree. I think we should kill, help him. Kill him? Yep. Likey they didn't desert us when we needed his help. I suppose you're right. Hey there, kitties. My name is Nash. I'm a level 3 apprentice from the famous magic city of Bane that floats around the Goddess Tower. The area around the Sea Hag's house can be a little tricky, so be sure to watch your step around here, okay? Cool. I'm excited we got video for the mm -hmm. video. No, no, me too. What are you saying? You're, one, you're the one who was trapped, pal, not us. <coughs> and would it kill you to, think, to let thanks pass your lips? Who, me? I'm a third rank of the Ma Magic Guild. Best magician in my age group. I'm also an apprentice to the powerful sage, Galleon. How dare you say I was trapped when I was just, uh... When I was just investigating how the silly device was made. This is why I hate leaving the city. You country folk don't make any... Don't have any manners. You've been yelling at us since we got you out of that trap, and we don't... Had, we don't have any manners? Hello, Nash. My name is Luna. We are all travelers from the village of Berg. These are my friends, Alex, Remus, and Nal. Are you also going to visit the old woman? You should join us! Oh, I'm sorry. Go with you? While well, protecting beautiful women and simpletons in the duty is the duty of every guild member. Alright, I'll travel to the hag's house with you. I just hope you all, all appreciate my exceedingly kind gesture. Oh, I think I'm gonna have a headache. I think Nash has a headache. <laughs> you said you were from Bird Village, didn't you? I've heard that a girl with a wonderful sing wondrous singing voice lives there. Do you know of her? I know Luna's really good, but I don't know about Wondrous. You're the singing princess of Berg. I would love to hear you sometime, Luna. Oh, you will. Uh-huh. She can't help herself. Well, all right. All right, we'll hold on to that. Now let's ho go have a few words with that old bag. Who put you in charge, Buster? Alex, this guy bugs me a lot. I'm surprised didn't just start singing right there. Well, he cut her off, I think. And this game is really rude to old people. It is really rude. He's called our hag and a bag. One on the pricking of my <coughs> thumb, something nasty this way comes. Um, er. Hello, children. Don't you look delicious or delightful? This is what is your business with me? You want the sea chart well? Since I assume you won't part with your tasty little pet there, I'll trade it. Will you trade me the water cane? What? I was given this cane by Gallium when I left Vane. I'm not with about to exchange it for a warty old hag for a crummy old map. We need that sea chart, Alex. What do we do? Would you like me to ask him, Alex? Nash seems to be fond of me. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Luna. The only thing this egomaniac understands is tough talk. Ramus can do it. Let's let Ramus do it. I want to see what Ramus says. You're obliged to help us, Nash. We helped you escape that trap in the woods when you were screaming like a little girl, and now we'll help. It, and now you'll help us get out of Moribia by giving up that silly little cane of yours. Do you see what I'm saying? What are you talking about? I was merely inspecting that trap. I wasn't caught in it. It's moments like this that remind me of why I detest you backwoods and breeds. <laughs> nice it's quite name calling in this game. <laughs> <laughs> nice and good. Backwoods and breeds. It's hilarious. Nice negotiating, Ramus. Now, what are we going to do? A trade goes both ways, kid. Hand over the water cane and I'll give you the sea chart. Alex? You turn to the Nash. Nash! Without the sea chart, we can't sail to Moravia and we desperately need to go. I'm begging you. 
please. Will you trade your cane with the old woman? Oh. Hey Nash, need help picking your jaw up off the floor? Oh, oh, oh. oh no, there's no way I can turn down a woman as lovely as you. There you go. Thank you, kitties, and here's the sea chart. I wish you took the other one because that was splash cane it sounded really awesome. It sounded cooler. And this flowery cane that he has to have. Maybe you can open that treasure chest downstairs. Oh, well, he's checking in the way. This doesn't sound as annoying as that kid from Code Veronica. I can't believe who they chose for the I know. That game. In Code Veronica, the kid's like, Help. Help me. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay. Super spiritual right now. <laughs> you need to balance your body. <laughs> I wonder what's going on. Everyone looks so busy. Mm, yeah, we are. I bet they're just trying to finish up their work before dinner. Oh, uh, that reminds me. When do we eat? We don't. You might want to heal for free. Let's I just see. want to open the door to let air out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait! What? Oh. <laughs> We're still level 11. Harg, you brought the seed chart. I'm grateful to the lot of you. Let me shit be devoured of any wretched beast from the hellish depths, Harg. It must be in all the fish sitting in the cargo hole that attracted it. Did you say fish eggs? We have to help this guy. Are, are you offering to slay the monster for me? Sorry, it's too dangerous. Yes, if you'll let us do it. Well, we'll save huge. all your fish, sir, won't we, Alex? Of course we will. It is the sworn duty of the guild to protect and serve the public. It's simply... I'll simply use the thunder magic to electrocute the pathetic beast. Ah, bless you, kids. Walk this way to me, ship, and watch your step. I like how oh. Nal had to be slow on the steps, too. <laughs> you know he's flying. Mm-hmm. Run while you still can, Captain. Captain, we tried to attack the monster, but it was no use. He just ate all our weapons. I let the deckhands retreat until we are figure until we can figure out what to do. And are we going to do, Captain? What are we going to do, Captain? The monster's getting right through the eating right through the hall. Let's get out of here before it starts looking for dessert. It looks sad. I know it's sad. It's like a bl cross between a blob and a duck. <laughs> Captain, please don't think any less of me for saying this, but run away. Ah. Arg! Me crew's a pl blasted bunch of old lily livered scallywags. To think I'd let them scurvy dogs sail with me. It like used every phrase pirate uses in that sense. <laughs> <laughs> you kids aren't afraid though, and that's why I'm gonna let you handle these monsters all on your young arg. Okay. I'm not scared at all. This is what has everyone running scared, Alex? It's a giant blue booger. Oh well, let's start picking. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yep. Whoa. Oh, he's not sad anymore. I'm supposed to electrocute him. The sailing slimer.
Vigor does. When we get the chance. I bet it's awesome. Ah, you kids did it. You slayed the beast and saved me shit. Would you be kind enough to hand over the map? Arg, I'll never let this lovely rag out of my old grasp again. You head from Arabia, aren't you? I insist that you sail with me on your on the Espanolia, free of charge. Really, you do that for us? Arg, of course, so that's ye. Better. Did. I won't have a ship to sell. <coughs> Whatever I can do to help you, I will. It's nice to have NPCs that are actually nice. Because mm -hmm. it's pretty rare. It is. It'll take me a crew a while to fix the damage, but I'll be done by morning, and I'll make sure of that. These buggers are lucky to have jobs after that cowardly display. Arg. Get some rest on the dock house. I'll have the crew roust you at daybreak. Didn't you hear me? Get to work, and the first one of you who ran away gets a swab of slime off the deck. Tomorrow, Alex. Tomorrow we're going to be in the biggest city in the world. What do you think it's like? Will the people be friendly? And will they have good fish? <laughs> you know what the best part of this is, Alex? My dad wouldn't believe it if he saw it. I'm just happy to be leaving this hillbilly haven behind. A person as sophisticated as I am needs the comments and culture of the city. I also need people who listen to me when I speak. <laughs> Let's go get some rest, Alex, and snack too. Fighting that monster made me hungry. Good idea, Ramus. Am I gonna sing something? <coughs> Luna, are you okay? She's being emotional again. I'm sorry. A marshmallow? Emotional. Emotional. <laughs> Why don't you go on ahead? I'll go to it. It's been a time of month. Yep. <laughs> Don't follow her. <laughs> Alex, something that with Luna. You saw the look on her face. <laughs> Let's talk to her and find out what's wrong. Uh, uh, uh. Luna? Alex. I'm... I'm not going to Arabia with you, Alex. I'm staying here. Luna, I don't understand. Everything you've talked about, everything you've dreamed of, since you were a boy. It's come true, Alex. You're, You're on that great adventure. <laughs> I died. I always told you that I believed in you. But deep in my heart, I'm not certain I really did. Why else would I be so surprised at what's happening to us, Alex? It's just so unbelievable. Not really. We haven't done anything amazing. Not really. That slime thing is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. You've grown so strong, Alex. Strong enough to venture into the unknown. With nothing but confidence in yourself and your friends. Luna. That's always his comment. <laughs> <laughs> if I couldn't put all my faith and my trust in you, how can you put yours in me? All I would be on this trip is a burden, Alex. I know you won't admit that. Even to yourself, but somewhere deep down, you know it's true. She is a basket case. She is, goodness. But Luna. <laughs> you don't mind, Alex. I'll watch you set sail in the morning, and then I'll return to Berg. I'll wait for you there, Alex. I'll always wait for you. Good night, Alex. 
she walks backwards a few <laughs> yeah. paces. Luna, are these people's sisters or like she just like uh, is he like adoptive or like I what's going know. on? Like this is an awful strange conversation to be having between a brother and a sister. But they sleep in the same house. Right. They could be betrothed for life. <laughs> are they really separating? How are we gonna heal? <laughs> I don't know. Are you sure you're going to stay here, Luna? Yes, yeah. no. I'm worried about Alex's parents. I'm not. <clears throat> I have to head back and let them know you two are doing fine. You can just write a letter. I'll miss you, Luna. Uh, uh, uh. No. You have to take care of Alex for me, alright? No problem, Luna. If we get into trouble, I'll just talk us out of it. Take care of yourself, Alex. Don't do anything too dangerous. Don't sleep with your feet sticking out from under the covers. You'll catch a cold. Don't forget to eat an orange or two on the ship. And don't forget about me. No, no. <laughs> Arr, graze the sail. Take care, Luna. Remember to tell your dad that I'm not coming back until I've made my first million. Farewell, Luna. I'm confident we'll see each other again. Bye, Luna. So long. See ya. Uh, uh, uh. I'll miss you, Alex. Goodbye. Goodbye. <coughs> Reparting. Oh, miss me. Oh, it just took some time. Luna! Luna, you have to come with us! What? <laughs> Luna, all the exciting adventures in the world mean nothing if you're not with us! <laughs> anticlimactic and you'll be right here with us where you belong that whole conversation was a complete like filler filler <laughs> that's so funny she wanted to stay back to check on his parents <laughs> oh Alex I don't know about this I'm what's wrong Luna your face is all red I'm just trying to catch my breath, that's all. I knew you'd come with us, Luna. I had faith in you. Oh, Alex. If you had faith in him, why did he have to talk her into it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Goodness. Emotional. Extremely. Alex, I don't know about you, but I'm getting chilly out here. Want to head below? This should be a place to stop, I'd say. Yeah. There's been a lot of excitement there at the I end. Know. <laughs> Soldier back, Luna! You got one Give me your hand! Give me your hand, Luna! <laughs> well, that was funny. Well, I'm sure you have lots of editing to do because there was a lot of, uh... A lot of... Nothing happening. Nothing. But there was fun. There was a lot of fun! And thanks, Jake, for watching. Thank yeah. you, YouTube, for watching. Yeah. Have a good night. Night, guys. I'm going to Jewel tomorrow. Yay. Yay.